is a Zorin 12.1 Lite. Uh, it's a fresh install running on a virtual machine. Only thing I've done is updated it. And I'm about to install and configure Dropbox. So all I've done here is just typed in soft and gone to software. Just started this. Just type in Dropbox. This top one here with Nautilus Dropbox. We will install that. Also done this on Linux Mint XFCE uh, version 18.2, and it worked just fine. So I'd be guessing it would probably work on most Ubuntu-based distributions with the XFCE desktop. I can't uh, vouch for that. I've only done it on Zorin 12.1 Lite and the Linux Mint. icons just turn up down here it's a little bit broken next to the clock so we'll just start it in chromium and I'll just pause here while I log into that Okay, we've just logged in. Here's my Dropbox folder is opened here. Got a notification here. And now what we're going to do is fix this icon down here. So I'll just go up, just drag that as a shortcut over to here. Okay, then we close that. Close that. Close that. Now we go up the menu, we go to settings scroll down to session and startup uh, the middle tab here application auto start and we can see there's an entry in here for Dropbox but there is a, a line of I'll just stretch that open a bit there uh, this this line here is what causes the the problem with XFCE I presume and I have changed the line but it seems to regenerate itself so we're just going to remove that entry for Dropbox and we're going to add we'll call it Dropbox funnily enough and just say file sharing and in the command we want dbus dbus dash launch l a u n c h space Dropbox space start we go OK and that should be down the bottom there now there it is there just double check that looks about right to me and now we log out log back in also restart the computer at that point if you wanted to and there you can see drop boxes the icons repaired down here near the clock and I've got another computer here logged into my account I'll just start the file manager there and on the other computer I've just created a folder and I'll just click create and there we go it's um, it's turned up there, we've got a notification, our um, icons all working down here, we're good to go, it's that simple.